today is a sampling type of day guys welcome back to the channel today we're doing a baby trying type beat i don't move away from the detroit beats in a minute but i'm from here so i gotta keep trying you know what i'm saying land it out how i do but this one right here i think it's a banger so let me know drop a like drop a comment let me know how you like it and you know let's get into it so today we're sampling martin iconic show the theme song i needed to sample this it was in my head for days and i'm like i need to sample this so i finally did it and we're gonna take bits and pieces from it not a lot but you guys know what it sounds like so i mean but That's, that's all y'all get for right now so what I did was if you don't know how to sample was some people do it like in the in the track here I usually just throw it in Edison and I do it that way you know I just find my points or loop where I want where I want my start to be so it was kind of here I took this part so I took this part and I looped it And then I took this part and looped it, basically. Basically. And then I also took this part, like the middle part. And then I just chopped them up, threw them into the thing. So here is the intro. Now the tempo is a uh, 116. Usually trying beats are f like a little bit faster than that, like one, you know, like they go up to like 200. But trying to do that with this beat was too fast. It just sounded horrible. So I kept it at the tempo, the regular tempo for the the theme song is 116. It just matched perfectly. It matched up. So, so this is, so this is what I did here. So these are all the main things right here and i just took them in and i ran with them man you know it was really easy to do so over and over again and then so from there let's start building the beat so I already got the beat built, you know, I already do, because I ain't gonna, you know, so I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I got the beat built already, so I just lay it, not lay it out, but show y'all how kind of how I did it. So, so we add this first, and then I added a kick. So here's the, here's the kick. Oop. know easy and then uh i had two snares because i'll be trying to like battle battle out the uh the sample because it, it'd be loud as shit for no reason and i can hear like all the instruments in the fucking sample so so i took those out i mean i threw it in to fruity parameter you know just a quick this right here just quick just something to make it a little sound lower here's it with the claps biggest thing when it comes to Detroit beats are percussions so here's all the percussions I got in the beat back and forth easy you know just just easy then you add just add a hi-hat with it simple hi-hat you ain't got to be crazy Oof, crazy. At one point, I do put a triangle in there. I guess that's a, another percussion, but it's not like throughout the whole beat. It's just, you know. Also, a hit crash. It, I think it's like one in there, like once or twice. You know, and then uh, again, man, I always just 313 VST plug in. I use this. 
I need more plugins, but I use this for little shit that I need, you know. And this is I used it for a bass, quick little bass line that comes in in the beginning that you really can't hear for real, but it's there. Like I try to like add little elements that if you really listen, you can like you'll be like, damn, I didn't know that was in there. So like that. But it's there. And that's pretty much it. And you add the bass. I did do a bass. Always do the bass. Take that out. That's gonna clash. I hate that. And then uh what else I got here? What else I got? Oh, it's stump. Iconic stump. You need a stump. Because the stump just makes it all go flow, so. I'm a low aim. Right, let's turn that up. Yeah, there we go. You know? That's really it. Like, you know? And then you just basically put it together. So the first part would be the intro. That's how I had it. And then uh the not the theme song. No, that's not it. This one right here. I think that was the end of the theme song, but I didn't use it though. And I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna use this because it was whatever. But I'm not gonna use that. So you start with that. Loop this for a minute. For the main loop, so I just got here. I know y'all hear that crazy at the end, like at the beginning. It's nothing I can really do because that shit. I even tried to like. like maybe I could crossfade it. It's probably still. Moving. It's just nothing. I tried uh, to chop it off too. Uh, it's like it's kind of there because it's it it gives it that beginning like that that hit like so. I could I had to keep it. It's all right though. It's whatever because once the beat flowing for real, you really don't pay attention to it that much. And I'm trying to see. I thought see like this is kind of. You know, it's kind of like not cut on the line how I would want it, but it's okay. And then, uh, this what it's on. And I can make it higher if I wanted to. It just sound crazy. Alright, let me put the beat together and then I'm going to show y'all what it sound like. The beats put together. I got my tag in there. All the instruments is here. This is how I laid it out. I had the Martin, like I had that going way longer before, but I switched it out to just the main loop and just had that like 16 bars and then have the Martin part 16 bars instead. Because, you know. Um, and here we go.
that's how you do it right there. 